Last time we did something good inside of Mid Ohio Racecourse as well, the fake Mid Ohio inside of here. So let's gonna be getting back into arcade physics mode. But last time we are back in Touring Car Championships inside of that game, another game of Roblox. That must be other kinds of teleported to Bathurst. Looks like we're gonna be taking for a little bit last time. But last time in this video, I didn't absolutely reach to under 60 seconds. But unfortunately, we did. And we're absolutely almost into some kind of a little bit terrible. I won't be able to try to do so. But last time for these laps, I won't be able to get seriously for more laps. As we said in four lap times as well, we're gonna be teleporting to Bathurst 1000. Looks like we're going to be using four supercars championships. We're inside of Bathurst 1000. Looks like we're inside of Mount Mountain Parona for as well. Panorama as well. We're going to be using for some kind of for similar race cars as well. I'm going to be using something a little bit different, using a Vauxhall Vectra GT as well. So, using a Porsche 406. We're going to be taking on for this lap strategy, and we're going to be taking on to making things look a little bit better. But we're going to be taking a little bit slowing, as using for some kind of a V4 British towing cars as well. Using, it's not some kind of British towing cars, but absolutely it's need for speed on the ground. Looks like we're going to be heading up here, until we just absolutely made things a little bit slow. Let's take for this a little bit easier, and we can't able to do, which just absolutely might be able to check this out. So going up into this earlier, seeing the sun, for so just literally going rimming around. And going up here, it wasn't just absolutely going to be one time until I might going to get crashed either. And because there was no wall into the other side of the map, but it looks like we're going to be taking all over to this down. Another side, and we might almost give ourselves a crash. But this is how where that I just absolutely crossed it into me. Oh no, we got ourselves a huge crash. But over here, it will be absolutely going to be taking all over the down place. Now, it looks like this absolutely made things a little bit fast for over two minutes for this time. It looks like we're in the gear six. We're absolutely making to this only one opportunity. Looks like we're going to be taking to this up into 175. Which is absolutely going to be taking a little bit slower. And make on to this a unfortunately lap times as possible. So it looks like we're going to be taking on to this 6 gear strategy. And made the final turn. And head on to the start finish straight. And made the, the lap time first. But looks like we're going to be taking all over to this place. And we're making on to this lap world record. After we're finishing for this only one lap time, it's time to head back and we're gonna be doing something a little bit pretty next. And looks like we're gonna be heading on to this another turns for this one. There's turn one, turn two, and there's turn three and turn four. Looks like I almost crashed down here to turn number five. And turn six. Oh! We did have something for a huge crash around here for an all-wheel drive transmission. Now, as you can see, all-wheel drive has been enabled inside of the touring car as well. So I just jump out of the vehicle and delete it as well. So I have to better try again. What absolutely I have to do, if I can't able to do like this one using a Renault Cup Series, this is that subject to be using for a little bit for a Japanese or British car as well. Let's pretty using for a Nissan Primera. If this is absolutely what happened to this one, it's pretty not better yet. It's not gonna be taking for a little bit much time. But once again, we'll be taking by using Nissan Primera to take on to this mass lap time whatsoever. It's taking for a huge crashes for so much like this one. This has got to be a little bit fast, but this car right itself might got to be taking for a little bit advantage. Now we're going to be taking on to this one, the start finish line. Let's go over to this, this place and looks like we're going to be taking on the first turn and made the world record into the first turn. And the turn number two should be going to be straight ahead onto this one 
much well is going to be much more particularly almost into the second turn. But whatever, I just made a fail to do it in the inside turn 3 and turn 4. Looks like we're going to be take up the turn number 5. The turn number 6 should be might going to be taking a little bit slow. Turn 7, turn 8, and turn 9. It looks like we just absolutely slipped out here to turn number 10 and turn number 11 and 12. Although we just absolutely almost did a corner jump. I don't know what it is. Because it feels a little bit weird that I am suddenly going to be taking all over the turn. But maybe even different a lot of turns, but it might be able to get counted. Ah, uh, that was absolutely such as enormously all the way down here. I just gotten hurt. But this is a little bit for just a little bit more strategy by using a Ford Mondeo. I'm just going to be using for a Super Impreza. That causes a little bit hurt for a Supercar Championships. I think we just absolutely just do a little bit using by the Audi A4. I'm gonna be a little bit reversing about this, and it looks like we're just gonna be pretty to this only one proper way. So if this is absolutely gonna be necessary, which is what absolutely what happens, if this is absolutely gonna be quite up just a little bit, I think we're not gonna be pretty sure. This is what absolutely we didn't absolutely happen over here. By using a Nissan Primera, that was absolutely going to be pretty strategy whatsoever. So, I'm just going to be using for an Audi A4. Let's do this, shall we, as we're going to be taking for a first turn. Now, it looks like I won't be able to do like this before. If this is absolutely going to be pretty uncontrollable, and this is absolutely going to be pretty quite as much as well. Using 169 miles per hour, I'm just going to be taking a little bit slow but almost perfectly on the second turn. This must be turn number three, turn number four, and it's just absolutely slowed down in turn number five. And that was how the turn number six, turn number seven, turn number eight, turn number nine. And it looks like the turn number 10 is gonna be even this one. And the turn number 11, 12, and 13. And 12, and 30, smash down this window. Turn number 14, 15, and 16, 17. Oh, we just absolutely failed for some lap times using the Audi A4. Turn 18, and turn 19. What absolutely to do like this? To turn 20 was absolutely in the final corner, but changing the different size of the side here. For turn 20, and turn number 21, and 22, I made this corner cut itself. Turn 21, turn 22, turn number 23 turns. What absolutely total is this? Maybe we should try again. But it looks like we just absolutely made onto this end of this video. But it looks like we just need to get a little bit seriously. I'm not able to do like this before. If this is some kind of just a little bit necessary before we're going to be end of this video. It won't be gonna be too much, but I make sure I have to try again. Before I'm going to end of this video, I just gotta be spawning the Subaru Impreza WRC. I mean, this is not a WRC vehicle. This is a Japanese touring car as well. As I'm gonna be using for this car earlier, I'm just gonna be my doing this a little bit perfect. But unfortunately, I did not, because it's absolutely making ourselves for a huge crash. But looks like we're going to be doing for once again. If I have to, pretty sure this is not going to be a good idea. But just yet, by using a JGTC, looks like this vehicle was absolutely going to be taking a little bit much more further. And I might go into dip my able to get ourselves a corner cut. But overall, this is absolutely going to be taking for a quite a very slow, as almost 169. But looks like we're going to be taking around for a slow amount of corners using a Japanese toy car. But absolutely they did not handle as well by using an upper grounds as almost legalizes these things. And, and turn number 6 and turn number 7. And wait, this is going to be the turn number 9. And that's the turn number 10. Should be going to be taking a little bit easier. I'm only going to be slotting it out of control turn number 11. 12, 13, and there's turn number 14, 15, 
in 16, 17, and 18 as well. I'm pretty sure I was right. The tournament 19 is absolutely going to be making things a long straight. It looks like we're just absolutely made for these long things. I think we're just absolutely using for a turn number 20, which means it's a fast corner. We'll be slowing down into turn number 21, 22, and to turn number 23, or 24 hours of Bathurst 1000. And finally, we did absolutely a great idea for just a little bit of great job for just a little bit. So I might gonna be turning back into the pits. And reversely, but I almost went forgotten that I absolutely tried to end up this video. Before we're gonna be end up this video, the track entrance is gonna be doing like the opposite birds. Back into track entrance is gonna be right here. I mean, this is absolutely gonna be pretty quiet up just a little bit before we start the lap times. Anyways, that is the end of the video. And some kind of other terms in in car racing series in British touring cars as even possible. Let's just jump out of this vehicle instantly. So, if you enjoyed for this video for just a little bit one time, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and click the bell. Thanks for watching. That I'm gonna be see you into our next video. That is gonna be inspired in Grand Turismo 2 reference. All cars of some other British touring cars and Japanese touring cars have been ripped off to Grand Turismo 2. Thanks for watching. That I'm gonna be see you all later, and I'll be signing off over and out.